A way of life, a way of life, a way of life, a way of life. Islam is a way of life, a complete way. In Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, who Allah the Jalla and the Muslimin. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Yusuf Estes, and this is Recite on TV. That's right, this is our night to really share in the best way in Islam. Not me just talking, but you calling up, and let's hear from you. I want to hear you recite the Quran. We're going to have a toll free number up on the screen, and one of our Young reciters, he's already on the phone with us right now. I think he's in New York, but let's find out. Salam alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Hamdan. Hello. Yeah, you're in New York. Are you in New York in Queens? Yes, I am. Okay, how old are you, Hamdan? I am eight years old. What would you like to recite for us tonight? Today I would love to say to you my favorite Surah is Surah Mulk. Oh, Surah Mulk. Yes, that's a very good idea. Let's do that. Are you ready? Okay. Inshallah. All right. Now, I'm, while you're doing that, I'm going to put it up so that people can see on the air. I'm going to try to do that anyway. Sometimes I don't do very good, but I keep trying anyway. So let's do that. Let's make it up here so they can see it. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead. What happened? Mm hmm. More phone problems. Oh my goodness. I have to use a passcode to get back into it. All right. Let's see what happened. When that, okay, by the way, guys, don't, don't call while somebody's on the phone with me because it, it won't get you through, but it could interrupt the call and just take more time, okay? So let me answer this one. Salam alaikum, caller. Where are you calling from? Hello? Salam alaikum. Where are you calling from? Columbus, Ohio. Okay, what's your name? Bangladesh. Okay, I think you recited with us last night too, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, night before, I'm sorry. So, what would you like to recite for us tonight? Surah Al Ikhlas. Al Ikhlas, let's see what we've got here. That'll be number 112. All righty, let's do that. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Aoud Bilai Minishatani regime. Aoud Bilai Minishatani regime. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Kullu al-Waqtu ahad. Al-Waqtu al-Samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yalahu kufu al-Ahad. MashaAllah, that's perfect. Thank you so much, Bilkis. 
Now we want to come back to Hamdan. Hamdan, are you there with us? Yes, I'm there. Okay, you don't have to shout. You got plenty of, you got plenty of juice going here. No problem. All right. So let's go now to Surah Al Mulk. Are you ready? Let's try it again. Okay. Okay. Aul Billahi Min Shaitan Yir Rajim. Aul Billahi Min Shaitan Yir Rajim. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Tabarak Rajim Yadih Al Mulk Wa Huwa Ala Kulli Shayin Qadir. Aladhi Khalaq Al Mulk. It's happening again. I don't know what our problem is with this, but um, every day I keep thinking we're going to be able to replace this with a real system. But that's not Allah's will yet, I guess. I'm so sorry that we had this problem. This happened last Thursday the same way. And uh, it's very frustrating for all of us, and I know how you feel. But let's take another caller. Salam alaikum, caller. Where are you calling from? San Diego, California. Mashallah, what's your name? Adam. Adam. And what would you like to recite for us? Surah Shura. I couldn't hear you because it cut out part of what you said. Surah what? Shura. Okay. Is the now there's two that sound alike over the telephone, and I don't know it, it, the one. How does it start out? Give me the first part of it. I'm, I'm gonna start from the. Start from the no, after no, the no, 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 no. You don't understand. I need to be able to put it on the screen, so I need to know what you're saying, and I can't understand you. So, if does it start with ta seen meme? No. No, then it's not the one that I thought. I thought you said Ashura. Oh, this one. Okay, Hamim. Yes. All right. So, um, now let's see. This says... Uh, 53 ayahs long, so we only have time for 10 ayahs. So, do you want to get started, inshallah? I'm, I'm going to start from the 12th ayah. Number 12? Okay, I'm going to... Uh, okay. Yes. Okay. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan al-rajim Shara'a lakum minash
قل آمنت بما أنزل الله من كتاب وأمرت لأعدل بينكم الله ربنا وربكم لنا أعمالنا ولكم أعمالكم لا حجة بيننا وبينكم الله يجمع بيننا وإليه المصير والذين يحاجون في الله من بعد ما استجيب له حجتهم تاحدة عن تربهم وعليهم وضب وعليهم وضب ولهم عذاب الشديد الله الذي أنزل الله أنزل كتاب الله الذي أنزل الكتاب بالحق والميزان وما يدريك لعل الساعة قريب يستعجب الله الذين لا يؤمنون بها والذين آمنوا يقول منها ويعلمون أن له الحق ألا إن الذين يمارون في الساعة نفي دلال بعيد الله لطيف بعباده يرزق من يشاء وهو القوي العزيز من كان يريد الحرش الآخرة نجد له في حرشه ومن كان يريد الحرش الدنيا نؤتيه منها وما لهم في الآخرة من نسيب أم لهم شركاء شرعوا لهم من الدين لم يأذن به الله ولولا كلمة فصل لقضي بينهم وإن الظالمين لهم عذاب أليم وترى وترى الظالمين مشفقين مما كتبوا وهو واقع بهم والذين امنوا Okay 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 the the race is over you're getting too fast for us okay there's two points i'd like to help you with okay number one, whenever you're going to recite the quran remember this is allah's speech to us and it's not a race it's not a game so please don't race through it that's the the first thing the second thing is when you speak Arabic, like Spanish and Arabic, they have an R that goes a rrr like that. But when we recite the Quran, my teachers all told me the same thing. Even though you would say like um, Rahman, Rahim, if you're talking, but they said when you're reciting Quran, not to roll your R's, okay? Okay. Don't roll your R's and take it nice and slow. And that way, because when I'm trying to keep up with you, see, what I'm doing is highlighting it on the screen so when people see it later, they want people to know what the Quran means, not just hear it. It's like hearing a bird sing. It's nice to hear a bird sing, but you don't know what he means when he's singing, do you? And that's what we're doing with the Quran when we don't know the meaning. So that's why we want to show people the meaning. So when you recite, we highlight it up. Well, I, at least I try to, <laughs> and t in order for me to be able to move the screen and to highlight it, if you go the right speed, we can do that, but as soon as you start speeding up, then it'll, it'll get off. So I would like for you guys, uh, everybody who calls in, to be sure and remember these little rules that it's important. Number one, don't race. Number two, don't roll your R's, okay? Okay, thank you so much, though. You're doing a very nice job. I just want you to slow down a little, okay? Okay. All right, so practice, and then t tomorrow night, if we're on the air again, <laughs> inshallah, I'd like for you to try again, okay? Okay. Tomorrow night? Yeah, tomorrow night's Friday night. Oh, yeah, it's going to be over again. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, Guidance TV is doing amazing work. And it needs your support. Running a satellite channel, running a TV station is not cheap. It takes money, it takes time, it takes commitment. And it is absolutely an obligation for you, all of you, to donate generously to help this amazing project. 
And don't forget, get guided with Guidance TV. A way of life, a way of life, a way of life, a way of life. Islam is a way of life, a complete way. We have another caller on the air right now with us in area code 347. Salaam alaikum caller, where are you calling from? It's me, Hamdan. Hamdan, you're back with me, okay. My other phone was, uh, was cut off, the line cut off from my other phone. Okay, I guess what we need to do is uh, whenever you're going to call or something, maybe you could turn off your call forwarding or your call waiting and all that stuff. And I know I have to do it on my phone and I forgot to do it tonight, so maybe it'll be better tomorrow night. So what are you going to recite for us tonight? I'm going to recite for a month. It's my favorite zero. Okay, I got an idea for you though. Let's I want you to listen to something just for a minute, okay? Just listen. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Can you hear it? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Blessed is he in whose hand is dominion, and he is over all things competent. He who created death and life to test you as to which of you is best indeed, and he is the exalted in might. The forgiving. And who created seven heavens in layers? You do not see in the creation of the most merciful any inconsistency. So return your vision to the sky. Do you see any breaks? Okay, you heard it. That's what I want you to hear how we have it so that you get to hear the Quran and then you get to hear the meaning of it too. Did you like that? Hello? Yeah. All right. I'll go. I'll reset. Okay. Did you understand what I was trying to tell you? Yes. So, so whatever you were trying to tell me that to, to uh, make my recitation so uh, slow, what that you mean? All right, are you ready to you ready to start now? Okay, inshallah. Okay. Very nice. Go ahead. Oh, 
MashaAllah. There's another point too that the uh, scholars of the Quran told me when I was in Medina, we talked about a number of things there. And some of the scholars are reminding us that saying Sadaqallahu Ladim is not something that came from our Prophet, peace be upon him, nor did it come from any of the companions. That if you don't say it, it, won't, it doesn't hurt anything. If you say it, it's okay, but it doesn't mean that they'll get extra points for that. Did you know that? Okay. I'm just here. Thank you for telling me. Oh, you're welcome. But by the way, some of the teachers that teach Quran, a lot of times they don't know about this. So I never argue with them about that because I don't want to hurt their feelings. But uh, if they say it all the time, it's okay, let them say it. But as far as we know, none of that came from the time of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, nor from his companions. But the, we won't make a big thing out of it. I would like to make a big thing out of knowing the meaning, though. And that's why I was trying to highlight, as you were reciting, I was trying to highlight the verses so that people would know what the meaning was. Many people watch our TV show they're not even Muslim or they're new Muslims. They don't know any Arabic. So they enjoy hearing it, but they would really like to know what does it mean. So that's why we do that. By the way, uh, did you get, did we put you down for a free Quran yet? No, not yet. I was calling the number for many times. Like from yesterday and the day before if yesterday. Yeah, if we're, if we're not on the air, the numbers won't work. The, as soon as we go off the air, the numbers go off too. So um, the other number to call, it's an 800 number also. And um, I know. do you know the other number? Yeah, 1-800-5. It, it, Wait, it ends with, it says 1-800 and it ends with, um, it ends with a 5 0 4 4 That one? Yes, that one. If you call that one right now, then you'll be able to, we'll be able to get a Quran to come to your house, okay? We'll, we'll mail one to you tomorrow, inshallah, all right? Okay, inshallah. Just call them and tell them your address, inshallah, and then we'll send it out to you, all right? Okay, inshallah. Oh, inshallah. Thank you so much. I love when, when you call up and we get to be together like this. It's very nice. Thank you. Zakum la khair. We're going to take a short break, guys. We'll be right back. And then, inshallah, when we come back, we'll have more recite on TV. So don't go away. Stay right there and get guided with Guidance TV. Get guided. Get guided. Guidance TV. Welcome, Sheikh Yusuf Aznas and the newly converted Muslims. MashaAllah. Newly converted Muslims. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Oh, I love this. And you can watch it anytime if you just get the apps, the free apps for iPhones, iPads, also the smartphones. Hello, Akbar. Hello, Akbar. The smartphones and the Android phones, you'll be able to do it real easy. And it is free, and you can watch it anytime. Wa alaikum salam. We're about ready to give some more shahadas, and you can join us. You can also help. Donate. Donate online at guideus.tv. Yeah, guideus.tv slash donate. Allah Akbar. And you can be helping these people get to Islam too. Oh. Allah Akbar. Allah gives the hidayah. He guides the people with Guide Us TV. A way of life, a way of life, a way of life, a way of life. Islam is a way of life, a complete way. We are back. Alhamdulillah, I think we've sorted out some of the problems that we had. Number one, I wanted to be sure you had the right telephone number to be able to call us so that you can order your free Quran to be mailed to your home. And that phone number is 1-800-409-5044. 1-800-409-5044. If you'll call right now. When we're off the air, these 800 numbers don't work. I forgot to tell you that. So 
sorry about that, but if you'll call us now, we have someone to take your order, and we will send it out to you for United States only. We can no longer send to Canada. Today, when we went to the post office, it was going to cost more than $12. And uh, alhamdulillah, we don't mind to send them. But uh, if we had 100 like that, it would be like $1,200. So we can't do that. So in the United States, we're still mailing those out. Our cost is only about $5 for the packaging and the shipping and the postage. So if you will, just call us and we'll send one to your home. Now, if anybody wants to donate, you can do that to help us do even more. But that's up to you. We have another caller on the line. And then when we're done with this, I do have some things to tell you about the contest. Salaam alaikum, caller. Where are you calling from? Wait a minute. My phone is just giving me a wonderful time tonight. <laughs> All right. Where are you calling from, caller? San Diego, California. San Diego, California. What's your name? Asma. Asma. Okay. What would you like to recite for us tonight? The last two eyes of Surah Al-Baqarah. Surah Al-Baqarah. All right. Let me see if we can get the that up here. Two ayas. All right. And you want the last two ayas? Oh boy, I switched. <laughs> I switched websites. I shouldn't have done that because now I know that this is a lot harder to find anything on there. I forgot about that. Uh, it only gives you seven ayahs at a time. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. I'll go this way. We have five Quran websites, so we, I got plenty of choices here. There we go. It's loading, 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 and there it is. Okay, the last two ayat, it starts out. Do you know the meaning of it when you say, Amana Rasulu bi maunzil ilayhi min rabbihim wa mu'minun kaloon amana walai wa malayakati wa katubihi wa rasuli lanu faraka bayna adamir rasuli. You know what all that means? No, but I really want to refer it. Okay. Well, if you watch your TV right now, I just highlighted it so you can see the meaning while you recite. And by the way, don't recite fast like I did. That's, that's not good. <laughs> okay. All right, take your time. Here we go. There is Asma. How old are you, Asma? I'm seven. Asma is in San Diego, seven years old, and she's going to recite for us the last two verses of chapter 2 of the Quran, which is Surah Baqarah. Go ahead. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Amana rasoolu bima unzina ilayhi min rabbi wal mu'minun Kullun amana billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rusulih La nufarriqu bayna ahadim min rusulih Wa qalu sami'na wa fa'na kufranaka rabbana wa ilayka al-masir لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا رفعها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما كسبت ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إصرا كما حنوا على النبين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ناقفة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين Mashallah, mashallah, mashallah. Very nice. Asma, you did a good job. I want you to keep practicing and practice and practice. But I got a website that if you go to this one website, let me see if I can bring it back up again. There's a website 
let's take a look and see what we can find out about it, okay? It's called recitequran.com, all right? Now, on this website, it has some nice things. Watch this. Now, suppose you know somebody, they don't know any Arabic. They're just learning. They just became a Muslim or some child is learning, right? So on the screen right now, I put up Surah Baqarah. And if you click on the very first thing, you want to click on the, where it says Alif Lam Mim, right? All right. Yes. Alif Lam Mim. Can you hear it? Listen again. Alif Lam Mim. Can you hear it? Yes. All right, now the next part. Dalika. Dalika. Now he's just, if I click on the word, he just will recite only the word that I click. Dalika. Now watch this. Al Kitabu. Al Kitabu. La. La. Reba. Reba. Fihi. Hudil. Hudal. Lil Mutakin. Hudal Lil Mutakin. All right, now whenever you hit the go button up on the left, the arrow, watch what will happen. And then if you keep going, watch what will happen. This is the book about which there is no doubt, a guidance for those conscious of Allah. Al now, isn't that nice? You get to hear the Arabic, and you can choose the. If you just like some, you have trouble with. Uh, suppose somebody was saying, "You minu na, ni." I don't know how it's supposed to be, so I can click on it, and it will give it to me. You minuna. All right. See how it works? So if you want to learn and have a teacher built in, it's really nice. And this is called recitequran.com. All right? And maybe, yeah. it, maybe it could help you, all right? RecyteQuran.com. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you for calling me tonight. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, that was Asma. I have another caller on the line. Assalamu alaikum, caller. Where are you calling from? Hello, Assalamu alaikum caller. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Canada, Edmonton. Edmonton, Canada. MashaAllah. What's your name? Ibtisam. I can't hear you. Ibtisam. Ibtisam. Yes. MashaAllah. And what, what is your age? I'm 11 years old. And what would you like to recite for us tonight? Ya ayyuhal mudathir. Ha? Huh? Mudathir. Surah Mudathir? Yes. Oh, let's see if we can find that out here. Yeah, I think we'll find it. Al Mudathir should be right about in here. Yeah, there it is, 74. Okay. All right. You're going to recite for me now. We have Itisam. He's in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. He's 11 years old and he's going to recite Surah number 74, Al Muddat there. Okay. <laughs> Wa 
فإذا نقر في الناقور فذلك يومئذ يوم عسير على الكافرين قير يسير برني ومن قلقت وحيدا وجحلت له مالا ممدودا وبنين السودا ومهدت له تنيدا ثم يطمع أن أزيد كلا إنه كان لآياتنا عنيدا سأريقه سعودا إنه فكر وقدر فقتل كيف قدر ثم قتل كيف قدر ثم نظر ثم عبس وبسر ثم أكبر واستكبر فقال إن هذا إلا سحر يؤثر إن هذا إلا قول البشر سأزليه سقر وما أضرك ما سقر لا تبقي ولا تذر لوحة للبشر عليها تسعة عشر وما جعلنا أصحاب النار إلى ملائكة وما جعلنا عدتهم إلا فتنة للذين كفروا للذين كفروا ليستيقن الذين أوتوا الكتاب ويزداد الذين آمنوا إيمانا ولا يرتاب الذين أوتوا الكتاب والمؤمنين أوتوا الكتاب والمؤمنون وليقوموا الذين في قلوبهم مرض والكافرون ماذا أراد الله بهذا مثلا كذلك يضل الله من أن يشاء وما يعلم ذنوب وما يشاء وما يعلم ذنوب ربك إلا هو وما هي إلا ذكرى للبشر كلا والقمر ولا الليل إذا تبر والصبح إذا أسفر إنها إلى إنها لا إهدى Yes. Go ahead. Innaha la Innaha la Innaha la Ihda al-Qubar Nazirun lil-Bashar Liman shaa minkum an yataqaddam aw yataqqar Kullu nafusim bima kasabat rahina li ashaab al-Yameen في جنات يتساءلون عن المجرمين ما سلقكم في سقر قالوا لكم قالوا لم نكن من المصلين ولم نكن نطعم المسكين وكنا نقوت مع مع القائسين وكنا نكذب في يوم حتى أتانا اليقين صدق الله العظيم وصدق الله الكريم ما شاء الله ما شاء الله well you did uh, quite a bit I'd say you got about uh, maybe 10 more ayahs to go and you would have had all of it huh but I'm proud of you yeah. I'm proud of you you're um, doing a very good job um, my sister in Taz wants Quran. She does, okay. What's your name? Yeah. And how old are you? Huh? In half. Three and a half. She said three and a half. Oh, three and a half. Oh, what is she going to recite for me? Uh, the last surah. All right, let's put that up here so everybody can see it. 
All right, mashallah, three and a half years old. I think that's the youngest one we've had on uh, Guidance TV so far. Mashallah. All right, a'udhu billahi min shaitani rajeem. <laughs> Three and a half, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. Really, this is so amazing. I, I'm loving this so much. Thank you for calling in and sharing with us tonight. And I liked hearing uh, both of them recite for us. I think this is really beautiful. And I, I make dua for you guys. Allah will always keep your children close to his words, close to the Quran, and close to Prophet Sallallahu in the Jannah. Ameen. Ameen. Thank you. Thank you. MashaAllah. Well, now we have to put everything up here on hold for just a minute because... Okay. I got to... Sorry, guys. I have to do this. And you can call back in a minute. But hold the calls right now. Just hold up. Because we have a very important contest. I want to tell you about the contest. So I have to go to that right now. Okay. And I don't have it set. Yes, I do. Here it is. This is Recite on TV. Recite on TV is, is a very exciting program that we've got going on right now. And I'd like to tell you all about it. And what you can do... Let me go to another one of our websites, Islam Newsroom. It's a feature story today about the recite on TV. And what's going on, just so you will know, that the prize that we have is $1,000, but everybody who enters is going to get some prizes. We're going to talk about that later in the program. Let me see what this says. Okay. Yeah. You see right here, the feature story, it says $1,000 prize, and this is coming up. There we go. There we are. This is coming up right now. We're starting uh, to get toward the end of our program of, for this, and we want to be sure everybody gets in that wants to. Because when they have the deadline and it's cut off, you can't join it anymore. So here's the deal, okay? You don't have to pay any money, and you don't have to give us any private information. There's not going to be any spam or emails coming to you, nothing like this. But what we are going to ask you to do is just follow the basic rules. And you can see right here, these are some of the children that have entered in the past. But if you've won in the past, you, you can't win the first place this time because that, that's, uh, you can only win the first place one time. All right, but, and this is really nice, it is open to enter as many times as you want, but there will only be one time you can win the $1,000 prize, all right? This is the rules here. It tells you what the requirements are and how to enter. And, but this is also very important, is how to make a video. I want to show you something on the... Uh, the, I want to go back to the page. I just left it, and I'll go back to it again. Yeah, here we are. If you look close to these pictures here, you'll see that they position the children in front of a, maybe a blanket or a wall or something nice looking in the background. Number two, that they set them down so that they were comfortable. Number three, remove all of the sounds out of the room. If you have any animals that make noise, like birds, or if you have children that are making a lot of noise, be sure they're not doing that at the time. And then if you're going to use a phone like this to record, be sure you hold it the long way like a TV set. Don't hold it this way because I've found that some of the ones that you, they did this with, 
So it would, instead of showing you something thin like that, what it did, it turned it sideways and the children were looking like they were laying down <laughs> reciting. That happened twice, two years in a row, and I really felt bad about that. So if you just be sure you hold your phone like a TV set, the long way, not up and down, this way. And then you'll get much better pictures. That's good. By the way, that works with YouTube and everything. It's much better. So it, then another thing is to get the proper lighting. You have to have good lighting, not too much. You don't want to turn somebody snow white or look like they have leprosy or something, you know. You don't want that. But just the right amount of light and be sure that you don't have too much light in the background because it will make you look like a, some kind of a shadow moving around, okay? And as a matter of fact, the, the lighting we have on right now is not set right for this set. I forgot to set it before we went on the air. And it's, if I go way back, if I move a certain way, you'll see I, I look too dark, like almost a shadow. So be sure you are very careful with the lighting and careful with the sound, careful with the, um, the way you recite. Now, when you get ready to recite, Start always with A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitani Rajeem and then Bismillahi Rahmani Rahim unless it's Surah Tawbah because there's no Basmala on Surah Tawbah chapter 9 and then begin Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen like this and go through all the way to the end when you're done you can say Sadaqallahu Al-Azim but you don't have to because it's not something the Prophet he didn't do it and his companions didn't do it. So if you tell people they have to do it, then this becomes what's called an innovation or a bid'ah. We don't want it th that. All right, so you see how that works? And now we'll go back to taking the calls. We still have some time. And uh, where are we? There we are. This is where I want to be. And we'll be ready to take another call. So you go ahead and call in now. Call 1-800-651-4814, and we will take your call right now. All right. We're ready when you're ready. Just pick up the phone. All of you have been calling and calling and calling. Now's the time to call. There's nobody on the line with us, so you'll be the first one in. Give us a call. We've had 27 missed calls tonight already. So if you're one of those, I know you'd like to call in and get another chance. So do that right now. Only got about four minutes left in the program tonight, so you need to hurry. Call us, and inshallah, here we go. We got a caller on the air. Salaam alaikum, caller. Salaam alaikum, caller. Hello, salaam. Wa alaikum salaam, rahmatullah. Who is this? Salaam. Sana? Yeah. Is that, I couldn't hear you. Did you say Sana? Yeah. MashaAllah. How old are you? I'm nine years old. Do you live in San Diego, California? No. Where do you live? Uh, London, Ontario. Oh, Canada. you're... I, I didn't recognize the area code. I should have recognized that. Yeah. All right, what would you like to recite for us tonight? One page of Surah Al-Mulk. Surah Al-Mulk. All right, let's see. Uh, that's number 69, isn't it? No, that's Al-Khaqa. There it is. There we are. We won't have time. You know what? Uh, why don't you just do this for me? Recite for me Surah Fatiha, and then we have to go off the air, okay? So please recite. Okay. Yeah, can you do that for me? Give me this. Okay. That's, yeah, Surah Fatiha. A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Ar-Rajim. A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Ar-Rajim. Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Amen and Masha Allah. That's great. I'm so proud 
that you could call us tonight and be the last caller because now we're, we have to stop because we're going off the air just in one minute. And finally, I would like to remind everybody the importance of knowing the meaning of what you recite. The Quran is something sent down to us by Allah. Allah tells us in the Quran that he's the one who sent down the Quran and doesn't want our hearts to be upset about it. Just use the Quran and then use it to warn the disbelievers and use it to teach the believers. That's the purpose of the Quran. We have to know the meaning. Our Prophet ﷺ, he told us, Khairukum man ta'alama al-Quran wa alama. He said, and the meaning of it is, the best of you are those who learn the Quran and you teach it. And it's not just about reciting from memory and not knowing what you say. This is almost like the cheap way out. Do you say, well, I want to get a bunch of barakah, I'll memorize the whole Quran. But if you memorized it with no meaning, it's kind of like you have the wrapping paper, but nothing is in there. There's, where's the gift? So be sure you take time to learn the meaning, the meaning of the Quran, and this is the most beautiful part about it. So until next time, for Guide Us TV and Recite on TV, Yusuf Est is giving you a big salam. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah. A way of life, a way of life, a way of life, a way of life, Islam is a way of life, a complete way